first coronavirus cases continue to surge across the state, so Wake County adding new testing sites to meet the demand. You're taking a live look now at Buffalo Road Athletic Park, where a new testing site just opened today. And CBS 17, Jamie's Price is live at Biltmore Hills Park in Raleigh, another brand new testing site, Jamie. Yeah, Randy, COVID testing started here at 11 o'clock this morning, and there's been a line of drivers ever since. Just take a look here. They're having a double line start at this moment because we're starting to see more people show up here. So this is one of those three locations. You have this one. We also mentioned as well the location on Buffalo Road, and there's also another location here in uh, Ting Park in Holly Springs. So as the demand for COVID testing increases, so does the demand for a COVID vaccine. So far, the county health department has received nearly 4,000 doses of the vaccine. They plan to team up with Duke Raleigh, Wake Med, and UNC Health to help meet that demand and get people vaccinated. But people like Joy Whitley, who is here at the Biltmore uh, Park trying to get tested this morning. She said she's not waiting around for that vaccine. She got tested today after her six-year-old granddaughter tested positive for COVID. I know it was it was pretty scary and I was talking to her and we didn't let her on to it, you know, but, um, you know, she was like, I mean, I got to be quarantined. I, I wish I could squeeze you and hug you. And I said, no, baby, I wish I could squeeze you and hug you too. So, you know, we just let it go like that. Wow. But she's fine now. She pop tested negative. And Joy is hoping she gets a negative uh, test results as well. Now, the county plans to move to the next phase of their vaccination plan next week, Tuesday, January 19th. And that's when they'll begin testing folks here in the community 75 years and older. Live in Raleigh, Jimmy's Price, CBS 17 News.